Good morning, students. Students, when I speak 1st February 2003, can you recall something? Can you recall any incident that took place on this day? If you can't, then I would like to tell you. On 1st February 2003, an incident took place that is marked as a black day in the Indian national history. And on this day, United States Space Shuttle Columbia broke into flames. It just didn't break into flames, but yes, it took away the life of Indian American astronaut Kalpana Chawla and along with her, six more astronauts were set on fire. On this day, Kalpana Chawla along with her colleagues left this world. Kalpana Chawla and six other astronauts were there in the space shuttle. Columbia had lifted off on January 16, 2003 from the Candy Space Center, Florida and stayed there for 16 days. And after that, it not only stayed there for 16 days, but Kalpana Chawla along with her colleagues conducted 80 excellent experiments in the space. An Indian girl born on July 1st, 1961 and died on February 1st, 2003. Kalpana Chawla is an inspiration for millions of girls. She was born in a very small place, but still her dreams took her to the highest levels of life. Kalpana Chawla was an American astronaut. She was an engineer too. She was the first Indian woman to go to space. That brought a very, very big pride for a country. She went as a mission specialist and primary robotic arm operator on this mission. Okay students, now we will learn about Kalpana Chawla. Kalpana Chawla was born in Karnal on July 1st, 1961. She was graduated from Tagore School. She earned her master's degree and did her PhD in aeronautical engineering. But can you tell me why is she known as Indian American? Why do we add two nationalities with Kalpana Chawla? Because the reason is by birth she was an Indian. By birth, she was an Indian, but she married an American. She married an American and the name of her husband was, sorry, name of her husband is G. Perry Harrison. Okay. And in the year 1994, Kalpana Chawla was selected by NASA as a trainee astronaut. Sometimes some words are spoken by the people whom we admire are so effective in our life that we start making those words as the footprints in order to move ahead in life. The following is a word was spoken by Kalpana Chawla. She said, I really never thought while pursuing my studies or doing anything that I was a woman or a person from a small city or a different country. Number of time what happens that we start considering ourselves very slow. We feel we can't do anything. Sometimes what happens? Number of times the ladies are being told that you are a girl. You are a lady. You have to look after the house. Girls are often told when you will grow up you have to get married. You have to look after the house. But today the time has changed. Such examples like Kalpana Chawla do inspire us. Such examples like other women that you see in your schools around yourself, in your house. You see your mother doing number of things at a one time period. You find that it's not easy to be a woman. It's not easy to be anyone actually. Whether you talk about male or female, what is required is your enthusiasm, your confidence that you can do and you can achieve anything in life. Kalpana Chawla is not an individual who is going to inspire always one or the other person. No, everyone is having a Kalpana Chawla in herself or himself because anyone who inspires you becomes your inspiration.
the first space mission of kalpana chawla was space shuttle columbia this mission lasted for 15 days 16 hours and 324 minutes it took round of the earth 252 times the crew members were from japan and ukraine and the experiments that were being performed by this crew on the space mission was regarding pollinating plants in order to observe the food growth on the in, in the space and to make strong metals and at the last to make faster computer chips students kalpana chawla is a heroine i won't say was a heroine because the inspirations like kalpana chawla are always alive amongst us the story of kalpana chawla has inspired you and me and through different traits we can understand the real motive of putting this chapter into your syllabus kalpana chawla's life teaches us that we need to be courageous in life no matter what the situation is you need to have courage in yourself to move ahead in life without courage you cannot move even a single step you need to be dedicated towards your dreams it's very easy to teach, to see a dream it's very easy to say i want to be an is officer but you need to be dedicated to be an is officer if you want to achieve anything that you dream you are dreaming for you need a continuous dedication towards that thing enthusiasm without enthusiasm no one in this world can achieve his or her goals patience students if kalpana chawla's life is in your syllabus it doesn't mean that she was always a successful person she has she must have fallen down number of times but what is remembered her every her every her downfalls are never remembered why because she always earned her success in spite of losing her ways vision if you dream for anything but you don't have a vision for that then definitely you cannot achieve success in your life you need to have a clear vision for your dreams desire desire is a oil is an oil that will keep burning your candle of life that will keep burning the dis- the wishes of yours that will keep you alive for, in order to have new hope for tomorrow kalpana chawla is an inspiration for us and these traits of kalpana chawla is a reminder to each one of you that still you have a long journey to move ahead you have not you are not standing at a threshold of a life where you can say i have given up i do quit no till you have a number of chances to move ahead in your life if you don't find the opportunity create them and then move ahead in your life i hope students the life of kalpana chawla may bring new hope and new desires for you for your life